So you just added 40 dates to your everlasting tour, putting you on the road until just before Christmas. Tell us about your tour and how you've melded your new covers with your past hits. The tour is the most fun I've ever had on the road in 22 years. And that's saying a lot, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it, it was, a, uh, when I made, the, when I was started making Everlasting, one of the reasons, or kind of the ca catalyst for it was kind of imagining a tour that would be really visually entertaining as well as very, very musical. And not just going out and playing, you know, the hits, but really taking the audience on a musical journey. And, and um, so in my head, I always had envisioned, you know, exactly what we're doing, which I have my band kind of in, they're all in matching suits. And I have a four piece horn section and a, an amazing three piece background vocal section who are, they're all moving. There's a lot to see, you know, somebody, one of my fans described it the other day, like a movie, you have to see it several times to really take it all in. Cause it's just so exciting and everybody on stage is having such a good time um so the we, you know it was really important to me that we do a lot of everlasting because I want that first of all it's easy to do a lot of this record because it, the songs are so familiar it's hard when you make a record of all original songs to to do very much of it live until they become singles because you know nobody wants to hear a bunch of songs they've never heard before so the much like with timeless the fact that I could go out and play these songs and 90% of them are familiar, it, it allows us to play a lot of new material, which is for us as a band is obviously a lot of fun because we've played the other songs for a really long time. We also get to, so, but it's important to me to play the hits because I mean, I love them. I know that's what the fans want to hear. So we set about I set about with my musical director who's been with me for 21 years, how do we make this happen? And we just sat down at the piano and started re kind of playing the hits and deciding which ones would really work with the new instrumentation uh, with some horn arrangements and some background vocal arrangements because I really wanted it, you know, my option was to break the show into two parts and do, which was what I did with Timeless. I came out and did about 45 minutes of the cl country classics and then we took an intermission and did about an hour and 15 of, of hits. But I really kind of wanted this to be, to all fit together seamlessly and be all one show and one, you know, let the music all fit together. And so we worked and just made arrangements and reconfigured a few things. The songs are totally still recognizable. It's not like we've changed them to people going, what is that? That doesn't sound like Wild Angels. But they're just fresh, you know, they're a little fresh and, and, and like I said, really fit in with the, the everlasting sound. Can you tell us about a day in the life on tour for you? Yeah, a typical day in the life on tour is uh, we pull into the venue. You, you know, we drive at night. The bus driver drives at night. <laughs> I sleep at night. But we pull into the venue usually around, I don't know, 10 or 11 a.m. And, of course, the, usually the crew is already there. They just have an 8 a.m. load in. So they're already setting up the stage and the sound equipment and everything and lighting. And I usually hang out on the bus I have, you know, some breakfast, I answer email, um, and then, and then get ready and shower and go to, into the venue and see what's going on. Sometimes I'll get out and see things in the, in the city if there's fun things to see or sh good shopping or good restaurants. And then sound check, my day kind of really starts at four o'clock. We have sound check at four, dinner at five, then I go get ready, then do a meet and greet, and then the show. I think the road feels like home for me now more than it used to, just simply for the fact that I've most of my band and crew have been with me for so long. Like, at least, you know, I think the newest <laughs> is maybe 10 years. So everybody's been with me for a really long time, so it feels like family. So for me, it's like, they're probably the people that are closest to me in my life, really, in a way. I spent more time with them than a lot of other people. So. We shared a lot of experiences and traveled the world. So I'm always excited to see them and vice versa. And it's like a family out there. Yeah, they make it comfortable. Yeah. What is it like being part of the BMI family? Um, can you tell us about your history with BMI? Yeah, it's an amazing uh, organization. It's very incredibly supportive of songwriters. I, um, you know, write some of my material, but I've made most of my career from recording 
other songwriter songs. And um, as a writer, I've just always felt such support there, you know, and, um, and just great people, which is the longer that you're in this business, that's becomes really important. You realize how important it is to work with people that you like. Mm -hmm.